We are back. If you're wondering why I seem so overworked, I had to do this level over again. Because I was plugging in my charger, and my... I have one... Let's just say I have one of the worst outlets in the world in my bathroom. And, uh, when I plugged in my, uh, iPhone charger, it turned off my PS2. But I caught myself up, don't worry. I had to overcome some personal demons to get the answer to this one. Okay, I'm just Try four, four, four. Four, four, four is so simple. I would put that in naturally. That's like the first number to come to my mind. Huh. Hello there, piece of paper. Lives on the blueprints to this Ruby's production facility. I'll pipe this information into your binoculars. Use it to find breakables and clues nearby. So we don't have very many more left in the game, because uh, there's only two levels left. This one, one level left after this, that has like one world left that has bottles in it, because the last world doesn't have bottles, because it's simply a bunch of like challenges until you get to the final boss. It's simply like an ordered levels. I like how that was worked. So we're gonna go into this now. If you remember the monster from the last episode. I'll get ready to see it again. Gotta love that thing. It was beautiful. It was beautiful. Okay, so back to the game. Looks like this is some kind of giant voodoo egg beater to stir up that unsanitary mess. If I could unlock the cauldron's lid, I might be able to What's well, holding that thing up? Build up enough steam pressure to get launched up to Ruby's skull temple. Okay, sounds like we've got a plan. To get around that thing, try to the shadows made by the masks so that the guards won't see you. Yeah, I think in this world is only like just enough, Arthur. Like not like not keys for like the egg, like keys to get here. I like, only like one board you need. This level is descent into danger. I don't want to do that one yet. I want to save that one for later. That's one of the last real levels in this world, so. Can we do this one? Or do we do the chickens? Let's do this one first. <laughs> Okay, so this one is actually really kind of hard. Uh, I have a lot of people really good at this one, but I'm certainly not good at this. Left one to move, right one to shoot, real easy stuff. Yeah, remember, that's why you have two joysticks, you can move and shoot at the same time. And you'll see what they mean by that. This level sucks. You have to do this again in the game later. Sometimes I can punch because I feel like I'm on purpose. On purpose. So you can all tell this is a little graphics design. Or just the first PS2 graphics design. Hard to believe this was amazing graphics back then.
kind of monsters are these? <laughs> oh yeah, the ones that the heads, I guess. I also just lost some extra life. Let's do this again. <coughs> okay. Okay. Do it up close. Like a boss. Get in there, Slug. Less ghosts. It's less ghosts. Just be the police, you know. And we did it. That was a hard one. Angel beat there. That small red deck here to draw over. Not these candles out here, need that purple mist thing out of the way. If you want a little shortcut up here, you already go to this room with that fast motion out of the way. Behold the chickens! God, I love the chickens. With all the hay and feathers, chickens! It's blood that gumbo there or something. Unless gumbo looks like banana to the big gumbo lala. I'm not scared of no chickens. Long fuses, huh? Some time to kill some chickens, please. Frickin' roosters. Look at them chickens in the background, they're all eating something. Okay, next episode we'll do that last level here and we'll move on to fight this movie. I'm wishing you guys a happy, it's not a holiday day. Happy it's not a holiday day. <laughs>